Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. And I want to say welcome to the Ooh La La Galantine collaboration with myself and Crafty Cat Incorporated. We will be posting videos every Wednesday for the entire month of February with Parisian themed Valentine creations. This week we are making book page ephemera. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that those two things seem like an oxymoron. I really need to get over that fear of ephemera. It's not really a fear, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. A phobia? Which is fear, right? Anyway, so I want to show you a few things that I've used. I used this sticker sheet with some random stickers that I pulled off. This came from Dollar Tree, I believe. I used some little bling pieces. I used some cutout pieces from um, the scanning cut. This floor de lis And I used book pages. And I'll just share with you some of the book pages. The images, some stamps. I stamped out some images and cut them down. And I didn't want to get too crazy with it because I want to use these book pages for some other things later on for creating but I did stamp them on a sheet the book I didn't read is called the um, blue tick De revenge and this is how most of the pages looked which is really cool I do love the book pages I like how they feel and I don't know why I'm I have a fear of using them it's not really a fear I just feel weird using the book pages because you're supposed to read in books and respect in books so yeah that's my own issue so the first one I made was this one which I like a lot you just can't see all of the image which is this lady the dress form um whenever I think of Paris I don't know why I think of this and I guess because of fashion like high fashion comes from there so um, I, I feel like that's a part of it. And then it just has some rosettes that I've popped up. Excuse me, crepe paper rosette with some hearts on there. And then the next one that I made was this crazy thing right here. And you can see I put the sticker on it. It says Parfum. So um, I think, I, you know, it's just very busy. It has a strip of washi, some bling, um, some heart stickers. This lady I kind of inked up. Not did I didn't do a, a lot to this, but it's just a lot of stuff going on with that one. Then the next one I did, which I like the most, probably because it's the most simple, but I took these scissors, these decorative scissors right here, which I really like them. And I'll tell you why I like them. And I like this because it looks like a stamp, right? So what I did is I cut the paper on this side as well as this side, and I just glued it down like that. So I didn't cut it all the way around. I just cut the edges that would be visible. And I just glued this on with some wet glue. And I love it. And I guess because I got a chance to do a little bit of coloring. But this is definitely going to be a pocket. I like how it looks. So it can be a pocket. Um, you know, when I was doing this, I was like, you know, I could do some sewing. But, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Um, because the little roommate sleep. And the big roommate is, you know, enjoying himself. So I just wanted to come and create while I could to get some um, craft projects completed but I'm sleepy so anyway this is another pair of decorative scissors I tried to use I don't know if I really like how they came out I think I'll just be getting rid of the ones that I don't like and keeping the ones that I do because you know most people have die cuts now but the scissors are very easy to use and have for you very handy um this is just the Eiffel Tower with some this is stamped little butterfly and um, a quill again I think of Paris when I see this kind of stuff and then the last one is I put this lady on a dolly color her in color her face not everything just little pops some uh, jewel pieces and this rose so this is what I have for the first installment of the ooh la la Galantine collaboration I'll leave the link to Crafty Cat Incorporated's channel Please go over and check her out and see what she's made. Until next time, happy crafting.